love how they say women are like really good at multitasking, right? I'm an exception lah. I think I burned the butter. Let's not say burnt. Let's say uh, caramelized. Caramelized carbonara spaghetti, guys. Hello everyone, my name is Neva and this is Slice of Life, a show where I learn how to cook dishes that mean something to my guests. Today, I am thrilled to have Aarti Dubey with me. Hi everyone, I'm Aarti. I am a plus-size blogger, a body positive activist and an activist in other parts as well. You can typically find me on Instagram as Curves Become Her. So today, you have chosen spaghetti carbonara for me to do. Yes. I'm excited to learn the recipe, mm -hmm. but first, Tell me why this dish. I struggled with, you know, eating disorders for 20 odd years of my life and I've always had a interesting relationship with food. On my 30th birthday, I had this really special moment where we were all having dinner and the carbonara was coming towards me and I was thinking about how happy everybody was and I was looking at, you know, the carbonara and I thought, you know what, I'm going to enjoy myself. Why do I not deserve this carbonara? Why am I not having fun today? Why am I not celebrating myself? It was a turning point for me, you know, and it uh, got me started on a very beautiful body positive journey. I guess this dish has become sort of a celebrate arty moment, you know, and I do it every year just to remind myself. It's like a party in a bowl, perhaps. Yes, yeah? it is. <laughs> but uh, before we start everything, I kind of need to make a disclaimer. I am a horrible cook, all right? I'm banned at home from entering my kitchen, so... I have a disclaimer too. Uh -huh. I'm not a good cook either. <laughs> I miss my husband right now. We'll figure it out, yeah. No worries, we got this, yeah? Mm. We got this. Mm. So tell me, what do we need? to make this carbonara dish. So first off, we have linguine, garlic cloves, butter, parsley, pepper and salt, bacon, eggs, grated parmesan cheese. Okay, Arti, tell me, what am I going to do first? First, you're going to boil some water. Do we know how to use this? I... We can figure it out. Oh, it's warm, it's warm, it's warm. It's warm? It's warm. Okay, okay, it's okay, getting okay, okay. warm. Get a large pot of salted boiling water. Cook the spaghetti according to the package directions until it's al dente. Drain and reserve one cup of pasta water. Don't put it in like that. Then no, it's straight. Let it just like a flower. Perfect! The next step, in a medium bowl, whisk eggs and parmesan until combined. One of the dishes that I make at home will be scrambled eggs. Alright, but it's very crunchy. La. You want to know what's the special ingredient? <laughs> the egg <shop. laughs> <No. laughs> Step 3. In the large skillet over medium heat, cook bacon until crispy, about 8 minutes. Be careful, be careful. Reserve fat in skillet and transfer slices to a paper towel. Well, spaghetti, are you doing okay? Can I have a try? Oh, it's good. Okay, okay. So no, uh, no, no. Uh, it's not. It's still hot. It's uh, not dente. It's undente. <laughs> then third step four, we have the same skillet. We will add garlic. We will cook until it's fragrant, about a minute. Yeah, you're gonna add water and oil. Add cooked spaghetti. Toss until fully coated in bacon fat. Remove from the heat. Put it over the pasta. Pour over the egg and cheese mixture and stir vigorously until creamy. But be careful not to scramble the eggs. Add pasta water a couple of tablespoons at a time, if necessary, to loosen the sauce. And stir in the cooked bacon. You can season generously with salt and pepper. Do you need help? Uh, no, no, no. I got this. Do you usually eat pasta on the side of the plate? Oh, I mean... You can. There are no rules with food. Drizzle it with olive oil and garnish with flaky sea salt, parmesan and parsley before serving. And tell me, moment of truth. Let's try this. Mmm, smells good. Mmm. Pass? 
Pops, it's so good. Be honest. You know, it shouldn't have scrambled the eggs. And I don't know why the pasta, the linguine became short. Don't know why we've got small linguines. It's good. It's really good. If you could name this dish, what would you call it? Hokkien cheese noodles. Chef Miva. Mom, I know you're proud of me. We spoke briefly about your body positivity journey. Yeah, we did. While growing up, I never really had a very good relationship with food. I started dieting at the age of 14. I would take laxative pills, so I would just like, clear my system. I just had issues with myself. Like, I just didn't like how I looked like. Every other person I know struggles with body image, right? It doesn't matter what size you are. Yeah. doesn't matter what your appearance is. For example, in the South Asian community, you know, colour, your size, the, you know, whether you have pimples on your face or, you know, what kind of hair you have, the texture of your hair. There's just so many beauty standards to keep up with. It's just really hard being a woman. There's just so many invisible taxes yeah. I feel we have to pay just because we're women. I think on the whole, we need to understand that you can't look at a person and know what their struggles have been. So who are we to look at a person and judge them? So body positivity tries to encourage you to not see yourself as a problem, you know, and to remind you of your worth mm -hmm. and that you are so much more than your body. It's like my pasta. Exactly! Yeah. That is the perfect, perfect yeah, thing. It's got a lot of depth. That's so it. true. That's so true. It doesn't look like carbonara, but it tastes like carbonara. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> How did you heal from your pains? Like, you know, there was this kind of time where I would not like look at myself in the mirror and I would like cover the mirror in the houses. But then now it's come to a point where it's like, you know, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, What's up, cutie? <laughs> Hi, you're cute. But you know, it's taken time and it's an ongoing process. So for anyone, just be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. We all need a little more kindness to others and ourselves, for sure. That's the essence of body positivity and the work that I do. I hope you connect to this story as much as I have connected with the stories that I have watched on Scope. Do give Scope a follow at This is Scope on Instagram and Facebook. If you've enjoyed this conversation as much as we did, do subscribe to Scope on YouTube. Bye! <laughs> now we continue eating, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Enjoy. Are you going to tell Suresh about this? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. He's going to be so proud. <laughs> <laughs>